Are you caught up in what is versus what could be? Well, today I'm going to give you the permission to dream big. Hi, I'm Deborah Kozowski, three-time best-selling author, speaker, executive coach, and the host of The Millionaire Woman Show. Thank you for joining me. So let's jump in. We're going to talk about dreaming big. And one of the questions I have to start off, are you, have you been realistic versus giving yourself the permission to dream big? And when was the last time you dreamt big without limitation? Well, I'm here to help you focus on doing just that. All too often, we get caught up in the realism, looking at what our current circumstance is, and we don't move into action because we're making decisions on past experiences. We get caught up on what was possible and what we know that we currently could achieve if we wanted to do it again. It was Christopher Reeve, the one who played Superman, who said, so many of our dreams seem impossible in the beginning, and then they become improbable. And then we summon this will that suddenly they become inevitable. So they become inevitable because we have this vision, this vivid image in front of us that helps us guide us toward it energetically. And we can see it, we can feel it. It's almost like we've, we're living it. And that image sparks our imagination and drives us into action because we see what's possible. And that's how we move to inevitably making it happen. We take that action step. But what happens is we come across these obstacles along our journey and we end up living other people's expectations, wanting to please others such as our parents, our coaches, our bosses, our children. And we want to, we end up living in a compelling way but living for others and not being true to ourselves and what we believe is possible. Then we have our inner critic that goes crazy and you know that negative self-talk that we continually have to pay attention to. And when you start paying attention to, you start picking up on the beliefs that you're holding and listening to that narrative. And we need to get you to shift away from the narrative that's gonna talk you out of the actions you know you must take to get toward that vision. So in order to get you to start steering clear to that vision and achieving what you dream of, you need to get really clear on what your core values are. What is most important to you? So you can start stepping toward that and getting very clear on what that might be. It might be family time. It might be growing the business and the wisdom um, that there's a sense of achievement, that there's meaning, there's ambition. So these are just a few of the core values that you might hold. It might be unconditional gratitude. So you got to continually think about what are those things that light you up, those values, and make sure that you're making decisions that involve those values. Often where people struggle is because they are making decisions against their core values or they're taking actions that don't match what they believe in. And that's where that struggle comes from. It's just letting you know that you're off track. You're not aligned with where you feel true to yourself. And then I want to ask you this. It's a really big question. Where does your life force come from? Where is it that you truly feel like you come alive? Can you share a story of where you had the most energetic feeling? Well, I'm going to share one with you. Several years ago, I went and booked a photo shoot and it was West Studio with um, <laughs> Brian Riley, phenomenal photographer out of Burlington, Ontario. And I had come across him on Instagram. I had been watching him for three to four months and then messaged him about doing a photo shoot. And it really took me out of my comfort zone, but he is so talented that he pulls out, I like to call him a magician actually, but he pulls out your true self, your true essence into those photographs. And it's like, he captures something that I've never seen before. And what is so powerful about that is it 
allowed me to step into a vision of who I saw myself to be, but needed to actually feel myself to be and move into that. So when I work with my clients, especially in uh, leadership or in their own personal careers, or even personally, I highly recommend that they get someone to do up their hair, their makeup, um, get a great outfit or two and go have a photo shoot. So you can start seeing yourself in a different light. You increase your standard by looking at yourself and seeing yourself in a completely different way and showing up as your best self. So that helps you step into your vision. But when it comes to feeling alive, that is one moment that I remember walking out of that photo shoot feeling like I was the most unstoppable person ever based on how incredible I felt from that experience. And it truly is experience. So if you ever get a chance to work with Brian Riley, phenomenal, phenomenal photographer, very talented um, with capturing light and catch, capturing people's true essence of personality. The other thing I wanna talk to you about is that our words create worlds. It's kinda of like Lego and construction blocks. See, when we start sharing stories about these powerful experiences, these stories that light us up and where we feel most empowered and where our greatest strengths come from, we create our environment we create our world of how we see the world and people are drawn into the story because they find things that are relevant to them and it helps them construct their stories it's a very powerful practice being trained in appreciative inquiry has helped me explain to people that the importance of powerful questions and powerful words and creating metaphors for our lives and themes help us step into that vivid vision that we see for ourselves. We need to start exploring our strengths, our highlights, our achievements, all of these great things that are occurring, our talents, because success leaves clues. Now, if I asked you, whether it be in your business, your organization, or in your personal life where your greatest successes were, what talents are you most grateful for? What are your greatest strengths that you can bring to the table? What are the times that you felt most creative? And when you think of your vivid vision, what would be the first action steps you could take to incrementally get closer to achieving that? So when we start creating these powerful uh, it's like a movement continually moving you toward that vivid vision. That's when you can start really getting excited. And that's because it, you gave yourself the permission to dream. Instead of just living life for everyone around you, you stayed true to yourself. Now tell me, how would it feel the freedom of choosing to live the life that you were meant to live making decisions based on what you truly value and what is most important to you. I want you to get genuinely curious to really ask the questions, challenge that inner critic, but not only that, with being curious, you're gonna provoke thought, you're gonna think of ways, you're gonna get creative, you're gonna brainstorm, that, and you're gonna start seeing the possibilities by having conversations of your best experiences where you felt the most empowered, looking at the talents, looking at the opportunities, and what did you learn from those events? Because again, success leaves clues. Those clues are all around you. Pay attention to the words that you're using. Construct the environment the world and the story that you wish to live and step into it. Instead of just being realistic and looking at what reality is currently, I want you to think about what could be. Give yourself that permission to dream and then dream bigger. Because often when you achieve one dream, you're gonna tell yourself, you know what? I could have dreamt a lot bigger than I did. But again, we, we wanna play it safe. Let's see how much I can achieve and move forward with that. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
But I want to challenge you today to think about one of your dreams and see if you can just stretch it just a little bit more so that you can step into not only your potential, your greatness, but in that world that you envision, that vivid image that's going to drive you into action and move you forward. Thank you for watching this video. I'd love for you to go over to my website at www.debrakazowski.com where you can get your three-part video course right now on making habits stick so you can take those goals and dreams, put in that focus and consistency and make them a reality. Let's knock them out of the park and stretch you to a new level. Now, when you're thinking of dreaming big, I want you to do just this. Here's your challenge for today. You are going to think about one year down the road, three years down the road, five years down the road, maybe even 10 years down the road. And I want you to think about what life would be like that you're living then. And then I want you to take a step back. This is something that you aspire to live. So now, what are the action steps necessary? What are the things that you need to do? How do you need to show up? Who do you need to be? What do you need to have? And what do you need to do to get there? Go out and have a fabulous day and move into action driven by that a beautiful imagination of yours.